Hurricane Sandy swept over the East Coast, causing evacuations, flooding, damage to homes and property, power outages, fires, and even loss of life. This superstorm left many people stranded or homeless and in need of water, food, and shelter. While these disasters cannot be diverted, we can better prepare ourselves, neighborhoods, and the county for these and other possible emergencies. There's things that happen all the time, like severe storms, wind, and rain, and those things happen almost every year. But there's also earthquakes, there's volcanoes. We live in a very rich fault line environment here. We have earthquakes out on the coast on a really regular basis that are part of that Cascadia subduction zone. In the event of a disaster, numerous agencies will be responding to help out. The Clark Regional Emergency Services Agency, or CRESA, helps train and facilitate these groups to work together to best respond with their resources. The room you see behind me is our Emergency Operations Center, and there are four basic groups of people that get together and coordinate responses to any type of emergency event. We're providing support and mission support to uh, groups that are working out in the field to help evacuate, shelter in place, uh, handle what uh, law enforcement, fire, and our public works agencies are facing uh, for any disasters. In the case of a large-scale disaster, such as Superstorm Sandy or the 2011 earthquake in Japan. First responders will be overwhelmed. During these times, individuals and families need to be prepared to be on their own for at least 72 hours. Besides maintaining the emergency kit with the basic necessities, other things to consider is the possibility of no electricity, cell phone batteries going out, and gas shortages. We have several tools that we can use to help us determine who's out of power, uh, where our most severe outages are. So based on that, we determine where we're going to start with our resources. If we have any forewarning of uh, bad weather conditions, we're already on the phone talking with different resources that we've contracted with and ask them how many crews they have available and how many they could send to us and when. Not only does Clark Public Utilities ask other national power providers for assistance, two crews from Clark Public Utilities recently returned from New Jersey where they helped restore electricity. Public agencies can't do it alone. To fill the gap during the emergency response, the Medical Reserve Corps provides support for Clark County Public Health. This group, made up of medical and non-medical volunteers, receives specialized training to respond during demanding events. During H1N1 was a very big event for us. It was you know, our biggest public health emergency we've had in a long time. It was widespread around the whole country and we could not have done it without our volunteers. They helped us run our vaccination clinics and get people vaccinated against the H1N1 virus. To teach citizens how best to prepare in the event of a disaster, there's a county-wide training course called CERT, short for Community Emergency Response Team. Through this program, individuals learn how to assemble an emergency kit, as well as the basics of first aid, fire suppression, and rescue techniques. It comes out of Southern California and it had to do with the earthquakes. What they found in Southern California was when they had a major event that people would come out and help. Unfortunately, they didn't have any training or any, any equipment, so uh, a lot of times they would become part of the problem. So they started a program where we give them basic equipment, they have a helmet, gloves, uh, eye protection. When an unfortunate disaster hits and first responders are overwhelmed, it can come down to citizens helping citizens. What I try to explain to them is if you can take care of yourself and take care of your neighbor or a couple of neighbors and that's three less 911 calls that we're going to get, that's a tremendous help to the, to the fire department in first response. For more information on how to be prepared in the event of a disaster or to sign up for the next CERT class, go to the Clark Regional Emergency Services Agency's website at cressa911.org or call 737-1911.